Hello, and welcome to the first ever video for the Cello Monk channel, which is a really unique combination of music making, approach to the instrument in a physically really healthy way, and also fitness for musicians, because a lot of friends of mine who are also professional musicians are afraid to exercise because they don't want to get hurt. Ironically, that actually sets you way more up for risk later on because your body's not balanced and is not healthy. So one of the first things I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is why gymnastics rings, Olympic rings, are the best possible investment you can make for your overall health. The main reason for this is that when you're working out with machines or even with a bar, when you're moving your body in that range of motion, your hands are not allowed to move. And because of that, as just an exercise, try right now, if you raise your, your arms this way, it's really unnatural to do this, to turn your palms this way, but down here, it's really unnatural to do this. So that's a problem. If you're actually exercising with a bar, one of the two is gonna be actually pinching your nerves and rotating your, your arms in a way that's very unnatural. Rings move naturally with you, and we'll show you why that's absolutely crucial in so many elements. Also, they move back and forth, meaning that the amount of strength just to hold them still is the reason why gymnasts are so strong without having to do a lot of weightlifting and, and weightlifting is itself a little bit risky. I'm sure we'll get to that in a different video. But first, these are the top exercises for musicians specifically with rings. So most musicians, we spend a lot of our time rotating our arms inward like this. A lot of people will get impingement issues in their shoulders and the first thing a physical therapist will tell you if you have impingement is you have to strengthen your rotator cuffs going backward like this, opening up your shoulder. We also have to remember to open up our bodies this way in general because most of the time what we're doing physically is just forward and tight and turned in. The first thing we're going to talk about is the most basic way to use rings as a musician to really strengthen your shoulders and back in the right way. And that's not even by doing a pull-up, it's actually by doing something called a row, where you're more pulling this way as opposed to pulling down. So you're strengthening, again, more of your rear deltoid, which is the back of your shoulder, strengthening the rotator cuff and strengthening the back. And it looks something like this. Now, a couple other amazing things about rings. If I wanna change the intensity of this exercise, I can shorten the length of these rings, which will make it easier and change the angle. I can also move the tops of them farther apart or closer, and that's gonna change the angle of the force that's required. So if I put them really far apart, it's gonna require me to pull really from the center of the back. If I put them more narrow, it's more of the shoulder and pulling backward. Really, they're incredibly versatile that way. Also, you can leave the length the same, and what if I just don't lean all the way back, right? I can just take a step back like, like this. And the weight is much lighter just by changing the leverage, which is something gymnasts talk about all the time. Another great exercise, again, very specifically for shoulder health and injury prevention, is a little bit odd, and it, I'll show you what it looks like first, and then we'll talk about why it works. It starts off just like a row. And then as you see, you straighten out your arms and slowly resist gravity as you go down. Now, this is called an eccentric contraction where your muscles actually elongating through tension. It's again used a lot by gymnasts. It's very good for preventing injury, but it allows you to do things that ordinarily you wouldn't have the strength, for instance, to go like this fully and lift your body weight up. But it strengthens all those muscles in the same way. So you start like a row and then you put your arms out, as you can see, and go back down. That's incredibly restorative and strengthening for especially your rear deltoid and your back. Another great exercise, of course, is the common pull-up. And this is where, again, we talked about the freedom of the wrist mobility is really superior on rings to anything else out there. I'm gonna show you a couple variations depending on your ability level. The first variation, which I won't really show you because you don't need to see it, is just that if you put these low enough that your feet are on the ground and you're still kind of pulling in a vertical way, that's gonna allow you to basically do a pull-up with way reduced intensity. But the most basic level, let's say, is just doing a pull-up like this. want to add intensity in different ways you could keep your knees up which will work your core so it looks like this or 
even more advanced, you can leave your legs straight, which is quite challenging. Even more advanced than that, there are a couple options if you're getting much stronger. One is to do uneven pull-ups like this. So that you're really working one arm much more than the other. And the final version, which is really tough, is just doing a one-arm one pull-up, which I will show you in a different video. But there are so many things that you can do with just rings. They cost about $25 on Amazon. You can get them in two days in the mail. They're incredibly healthy for musicians, and there's a lot more that I look forward to discussing with you guys on the channel. Thanks for checking in.